Hey everybody, Buzzsaw Gaming here, showing you my top five GameCube games. Over there, hanging out on the GameCube controller, is my retro gaming buddy, Mr. Buzzsaw. Playing a little bit of Pikmin 2 on the CRT right there. Anyways, about this console, it's probably my, I believe it's my newest console. <laughs> I've only had it maybe five years or so, not a very long time. Uh, growing up, I, I, I really liked Nintendo, the original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. But uh, by the time the sixth generation came out, GameCube came out, I, I didn't like the direction that Nintendo went in, so I never bought a GameCube. I skipped it. So my last uh, Nintendo system, uh, while Nintendo was relevant, was the Nintendo 64. GameCube was coming out, and they had a weird Zelda going on, and they had a, uh, a different spin. They didn't have a Mario. They had a Luigi game. They had a unusual Metroid, and, and those were the reasons, really. I grew up with those franchises. And those are the reasons really why I chose uh, a different console in sixth generation. I was mostly playing Xbox uh, and PS2 and Dreamcast. And, you know, I liked those better at that time. And later in life, yeah, about five years ago, I picked up a used GameCube. That's my GameCube right there. It's actually, uh, when it's cold in the morning, it doesn't start up. So it has a little issue, but uh, it seems to work just fine after that, after it gets warmed up. Anyways, the GameCube surprised me. I mean, I really missed out back then. I I didn't buy it, uh, you know, back in the day. I didn't really follow it. And, and really past, uh, you know, Nintendo 64, I, I really stopped following Nintendo altogether. I went through Xbox and PlayStation and all that. And, uh, you know, I never got a GameCube. I got it, you know, later in life as a used system. I never got the Wii, the Wii U. I currently don't have a Switch. So it was kind of the, the end of an era, but uh, I made a decision to buy a GameCube just because there's so many awesome games, especially first party games. I mean, I was I was completely wrong. I mean, it's an awesome system. I think it's just absolutely fantastic. It's the, you know, the last really, uh, you know, real traditional Nintendo system, you know, where they're, where they're just a system. They don't have the, uh, the gimmicks of the Wii and, and all this kind of stuff. It's just a, a, a game system. It doesn't play DVDs. It doesn't do anything uh, extra, uh, you know, besides just being a game player. I mean, I know there's an exotic version, a Panasonic version, but uh, I won't count that as a DVD player. Anyways, the controller, I love. It's absolutely one of my favorite controllers. It's absolutely awesome. Here I have the black GameCube matching with the black controller. It kind of matches most of my systems. They're, they're you know, black in color. Uh, for the most part and this one also has the two uh the two audio or two video ports in the back so i can uh i can hook up uh you know better quality uh cables as well which i don't have currently for the gamecube uh, because they are unfortunately ridiculously expensive like a lot of stuff for gamecube nowadays i don't have the system complete in box but i do have this travel case which is actually really good it, uh, the system fits inside. It's got a little area on top for two game controllers, accessories, all of the, the power brake, all that stuff. So I, I, I really like it. It's a really a good, uh, a good way to store your GameCube, I think. And anyways, going into the top five, I have a couple honorable mentions to start out with. Honorable mention number one, Wario World. <laughs> Now, I've always liked the Wario character ever since, like, Mario Tennis and, and, uh, and you know, Game Boy days and all that. I, I've always liked the Wario character. Just silly, funny, super strong, super greedy. <laughs> Just a ridiculous character. I think it's one of the, the most fun characters uh, that, uh, that Nintendo has. And here is basically his only real platformer as far as, like, a, on the mainline system is Wario World. And you're going around, you're, you're pile-driving dinosaurs. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a silly game, a lot of fun. I mean, I put hours and hours into it. I absolutely love it. Completely unique. Awesome game right there. 
Another honorable mention right here, Super Mario Strikers. Now, whether you're a fan of soccer or not, it, it doesn't really matter. This is just a cool game. It's a lot of fun. In my opinion, it's the best soccer game out there. It's just so much fun. It's so arcadey. It's got ridiculous stuff going on. It's got cool background music. It's just absolutely fun. Um, really ridiculous. It's just an absolute, uh, you know, just those sports titles back in the day, back when Nintendo GameCube was out, they were just really good. And this is just a great example of that. It's Super Mario uh, Strikers right there. Into my top five. F-Zero GX, the final F-Zero in the series. Absolutely awesome, it's so fast, super cool. Uh, it's just a great game, all around great game. Uh, I think they took the series to the top on, on this one. F-Zero GX, absolutely fun. Just a great racer, uh, you know, so unique, so interesting. So yeah, I, I like F-Zero GX a lot. Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> This is probably my favorite Mario Kart game right here. Uh, I like the graphics. I like that you have, uh, you can choose two players. You can choose your cart. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's, you can, you know, throw in things, which is part of Mario Kart, but it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Just the second player uh, or the second, uh, you know, um, rider on your cart just adds a lot to it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's really great. I had a really great time with it. I don't know how the other Mario Karts are. I heard the one on the Switch is pretty good as well. But uh, yeah, I just go back to this one, Mario Kart 8. Just a lot of fun. Number three, Metroid Prime. Now, I liked Metroid from when it first came out on the original Nintendo. It was huge. I, I, I played it all the way to the end. I had it written down on, on paper, like where to go, how to get this, how to get that, because that's what you did back then. There was uh, no other way to do it. I knew how many missiles to kill Mother Brain at the end. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Super Metroid, I mean, that's that's one of my favorite games of all time. It's absolutely, a, a, you know, perfection, the music, the, the graphics, it's just so perfect. So, you know, for me, you know, Metro Prime is an awesome game. I absolutely love it. It's really cool. They did a really great job. Uh, you know, albeit for me, it's, it's not my favorite Metroid. My favorite Metroid is Super Metroid. But as far as a 3D Metroid, I, I really like it. It's, it's awesome. It's fun. They did a really good job of bringing it to the 3D world. And yeah, Metroid Prime. There's also a second one, Metroid Prime Echoes, which I have as well. I didn't get into as much as the original. But anyways, Metroid Prime right there. Number three. Number two, Pikmin. You got the original Pikmin and Pikmin 2. And Pikmin 2 is also on the, uh, the CRT right there. What can I say about this series? It's a new series for Nintendo at the time. Absolutely awesome. I love it. It's so much fun. It's so quirky. I mean, it's such a funny idea. It's just uh, these little guys, uh, you know, kind of like in a, you know, backyard setting where everything is miniaturized. You know, they come, you know, the guy crash lands on a planet and, you know, in, in part two, he has a sidekick as well. And, and it introduces, uh, you know, caves and dungeons and stuff like that. It's just an awesome game. Absolutely love these, you know, Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2. I think it's my favorite, like newer, Nintendo franchise, I would say. So many hours sunk into it. I mean, beat both of them. You know, Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2. I mean, Pikmin 2, just <laughs> keep going through it and the game keeps going and going. So <laughs> I think I'm on day number 256 on Pikmin 2 right now. <laughs> Anyways, it's a lot of fun. It's just super creative. Different kinds of Pikmin. I mean, some are like super strong. Uh, the purple Pikmin is super strong. You know, blue Pikmin can go into water, so it's just an absolutely fun game. When they go into battle, it's, it's just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Such a fun game. Yeah, it's a kiddie game, but, you know, it's a lot of fun, and that's what, uh, you know, Nintendo's supposed to be. So, absolutely love it. And number one, the absolute best, in my opinion, on GameCube is Zelda Wind Waker. Now, this was the Zelda that came out that I wasn't very happy with back in the day because I was coming off Ocarina of Time and 
and Majora's Mask, and those were dark, you know, darker themed Zeldas, and this was kind of a, uh, you know, cartoony version of Zelda, so, you know, it drew me away from Nintendo at the time. But after playing, you know, Zelda Wind Waker, I've played a lot of it, I haven't gone all the way through, it's a lot of fun. Just going between islands, I mean, the cell shaded graphics, it's really interesting. I love it, actually. This is, I, I, I believe, one of the best Zeldas. Absolutely phenomenal, fantastic. You know, it's an awesome, awesome game. Anyways, those are my top five with a couple of honorable mentions for the GameCube. Uh, maybe in the comments below, mention what are your favorite uh, GameCube games? What do you like? What are your top five? And uh, yeah, if you made it this far, Put a lizard emoji down below. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There's Mr. Buzzsaw right there signing out. We would love reading your comments and replying. You guys are really funny. And, uh, you know, it's fun making these videos. Anyways, have a wonderful day.